Oh, not us on the Mayo. Yeah, that's really cool, dude. Anyway, half. <laughs> when you're at that. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of the Ben Hammer. I am not Carl, but I am Leonie, and with me I have Adam and Keanu. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Adam, uh, where is Carl currently? I heard that he went to prison to free the last person that we freed, and there have been some complications. Well, while he is gone, Leonie is going to be taking over the Ben Hammer duties as we will be speaking about some cards that kind of affect mostly the TCG. I've seen him, I've met him, and your guys are not allowed to anymore. And I don't I'd think like anyone to know has why. synchro summoned at all since uh, Chris Strong Halka Firebrex has been banned by the way. Can I just That's point true. out that? You're, you're, a, you're a like very sworn Soto player. <laughs> oh, not us on the Mayo. Yeah, that's really cool, dude. Anyway, have <laughs> When you're at that. <laughs> you guys brought me a chaotic ruler. Chaos ruler, the chaotic magical dragon who seems very chaotic. It had to be one of my favorite cards, right? It like, had to be one The one time one I'm them. here in this format, I, it had to be one of my favorite cards. <sighs> okay, sure. Keanu yeah. doesn't stop talking about dragons. You swear he lived in like Aragon or something. It's just very strange. No, I just like dragons. Dragons are so cool. They are pretty cool. And this one is a level eight. He has 3,000 attack. Two thousand five hundred defense. The Y stats, yeah. yeah, whatever we want. Uh, you can make him by using a tuner and a one plus non-tuner monster. If this card is synchro summoned, you can excavate the top five cards of your deck. And if you do, you can add one excavated light or dark monster to your hand. Also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. You can banish one light and one dark monster from your hand and or graveyard. Accept this card, special summon this card from your graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. I'm just remembering all the good memories I had with this card. <laughs> so, as of now, this card is forbidden. It's banned in the TCG, but it can roam free in the OCG, on Master Duel, like, yeah, he pops up from time to time, but even I haven't seen him roam around these halls. I would like to ask you, first and foremost, what you think about this card, if you have encountered this card when it was not banned, and uh, yeah, how that was for you. Uh, this card was really, really good in the TCG, probably from like the moment it came out, right? Yeah, it was like really like quickly adapted to the dragon deck, just yeah. when it came out, because like it just like with the, all of the, the light and darks uh, effects uh, about it, yeah. Like, I mean, synchros in general weren't in an amazing spot at the time, but with Christian Hawk of Fibrex, it allowed you to easily get out like any tuner you wanted to kind of start extending it made it really easy to get out synchros and this card was and is really really good for extension because you can link it off for something right yep and then just bring it back yeah he's one free return again, one free again, afterwards again, it's banished though but, yeah, like, but the thing is one like, free the thing is it's a level eight right and level yeah. eights have really good rank eights mm. okay if it's detached as a material, it goes back to the grave because it doesn't leave the field, right? So you could kind of circumvent that oh, if you yeah. went into like Hope Harbinger or more recently something like a Zombie Vampire, Zombie Vampire yep. which was also really good. Wait, 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 uh, hold on. What you mean is when you have it in an Axie as material and you discard it, it's still... It's not uh, technically on the field. Yeah. It's not uh -huh. on the field, it's attached to a monster. Yeah. Xyz materials oh, exist yeah, yeah. in a very weird zone where it's technically not in the field, but it's technically not left the field either. It's, it's, it's not, a, even, not even a card. Yeah, it's it's just a thing, which is yeah. really cool from a thematic standpoint, yep. considering that Xyz monsters and their materials are kind of from a different dimension. Yeah. So it doesn't die or get banished or anything like that. It just goes to an alternate universe. It's yeah. kind of neat. Would you like to explain why its effect is stupid? Well, I don't know where I want to start. So uh, <laughs> first of all, you excavate five cards, which is, uh, which is good. Hey, right? Prosperity is pretty good. Right? Uh, yeah, right. Um, so then you can choose one excavated light or dark monster to add to your hand. Meaning, if you have a good target there, you can just take it to your hand. You just basically trigger for everything. Just think about it. Just think about it. You can do it. Valor is a light. <laughs> light Lancer is dark. a light. Skullmeister is a dark. So you can even add hand traps, which was actually really prevalent in match formats. And uh, with two elements, it got even crazier. Everything went like a little bit downhill. So you had you had Hulk, you had the the uh, Italia three with the with the punk stuff and the punk cards. So they they could easily easily tutor out for a, a level eight. Punks are basically just like turbo this card, yeah. right? It was you have Zayaman, then you get uh, Ogre or Deer Note or whatever the Foxy Tune as well, yeah, and just go from there. Make the card, mill five, do a bunch of other stuff, build a synchro board, make an XZ if you yep. really want. Who cares? You know, it was just. The, uh, the card itself isn't necessarily super broken in terms of like board impact or anything like oh, that. Oh, definitely not, yeah. But it is really, really good as an extension tool or a lethal push tool. Yeah, and just it's something you always need to worry about if it's in your opponent's graveyard. Yeah, right. So 
It did a lot of things. Its so ceiling like, was very high. Yes, right. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you could also just like mill five and hit nothing. Like I exactly. Do. Yeah, you can mill Sometimes. five. Yeah, you can mill five and hit all spells. It was good before. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like really played in a lot of decks. And with the punk cards and the elements, which like combined was like a really good deck at that time with the release of uh, Power of the Elements. Yeah, punk was good. Yeah, that that uh, basically like completely broke the card. For people who may not have met the card in recent times. So you would, you know, look at your five cards yeah. and if there, would you look through all of the five and then choose whatever monster it is? And what yeah. about the cards that get sent to the graveyard? Does so that, does that benefit is, right, you probably, or is that the You're probably playing, once again, the graveyard's the second half. It's yeah. like, it's, a, it's, it's basically a mantra on this show at this point is things that go to the graveyard really, really good, right? Sending four cards to the graveyard or five, it's pretty good. It doesn't have to, yeah. you don't it, have it, to you add don't have it to, to hand. Yeah, you can yeah. just send everything to the graveyard. Right. You can choose to add it to hand or not. You can send all these cards to the graveyard and they can all have effects and they can all do things and you can all plus and bonus yep. and benefit. And it's amazing. I think that's the reasoning behind why they banned it, right? Is because right. the elements just love being sent to the graveyard yes. and they also happen to be Derek's. So it's kind of, it, it was way too beneficial for them, I guess, yeah. to when, whenever this is procs because, you know, Kikolo sends five. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, like, you send three whenever you summon uh, early, any of the. Uh, yeah, early Shiren, yeah. whatever. Yeah, any yeah. of the, the girls, right? So it's like, yeah, okay, cool. And it just. If, if it's easy, you send five, so like having it also on an extra deck monster. And then this is where I feel weird about it, right? Yeah, this is where I feel weird about it. Like, okay, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I can tell that the prosecution is conflicted. Right, what, what would, what, what are you guys leaning towards? Is it a justified ban or is it kind of a bit rude? What do you think? Uh, I mean, like it always depends on the format. If you, if we have uh, you have uh, decks in the format which are like really really crazy relying on the graveyard, like Tillamans, or like even like if we have cards which are crazy in the graveyard, like we used to have Snow, even in this format, um, I think like then it should be definitely banned because it's way too easily accessible and way too generic. So what you're basically saying is the second Tillamans drops on Master Duel, this card will also be banned oh, yeah, immediately. Okay, I'm gonna we'll disagree. see. <laughs> You want to dis I'm gonna disagree. No way right? disagreeing that. This is uh, uh, like two elements is very very powerful. Um, but I think two elements, power of the elements, and Darkwing Blast era, mm -hmm. it's fine. It was it was a really good deck, and it was definitely the best. Yeah, deck yeah, 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 And it yeah, was yeah, really, exactly. really, really good. Magical Ruler basically allowed other decks to do what two elements already does, but they had to commit. Two monsters to the field in order to do the it. The thing right? is, like, I think it's it's not about the milling part. It's the what you get out of the milling, and that's what only what Telemans can do. That's that like the fusion monster, sure, but like benefiting from sending things to the graveyard is something that this card was made for. The whole point of it is to mill things yeah, to sure, the graveyard for sure, yeah, and but... then add whatever dark yeah, or right. light monster you want to hand, right? And then you definitely want the dark monsters you send to graveyard to have some sort of effect. But yeah, like you right. said, there is a downside where you could just mill your powerful spells, right? Right. Which meant that the card did have some sort of drawback because milling isn't sure, always sure. good. Yeah, it is only good. good when you build around it. The deck that played this card, which was Punk Tier, underperformed. Sprite. <laughs> sprite, Punk Tier Sprite, yeah, one blue. The deck underperformed significantly at EU, right? It did not do very well. It was completely outclassed by Danger Tier. Yeah, because- A hundred percent, because Danger Tier, uh... listen, what, sure, awful. milling five is amazing. However, it would be way better if you could just send one dedicated card that you're guaranteed to hit, which True. they did with Curious. It's not a dragon. <laughs> but when <laughs> this <laughs> came out then, this card got significantly worse because you couldn't yeah. stand with it anymore. You know, and milling the bestials didn't really the thing, do anything. The thing help. is, like, like the extending part is like doesn't matter because you use your bestials on the Tillamon cards anyways. True, but so, even then, still, it's nice to get the 3k beater back if you want to extend. Like, I do think that they killed this card as a kind of peace offering to everyone who hated two elements. Sure, like, yeah. We've gotten rid of the card that mills five because in about two weeks, we're gonna have <laughs> three more cards that just <laughs> kill five. All right, we have to reach a final verdict. We have to know if Chaos Ruler, the chaotic magical dragon, can roam free again or not, and if that is likely, and if so, under what conditions. So I would uh, ask the prosecution first. I'm gonna say it stay, should stay banned for now, for now. For now. Even though I love the card, I love dragons, I love that card specifically. All right, Adam, what say you? They killed this card to like apologize for two elements. I do think it was unfair to kill this card while it's existed for nearly two and a half years at this point, and it's True. been good, right? But it's never been really like the actual problem in and of itself. 
maybe in Dragon Link it helps too much, but I do think that killing it because Tier Elements mills a lot and loves to be milled was just like a courtesy thing. We have come to a conclusion and that conclusion is that we have no, no conclusion. conclusion. <laughs> we are tied. You guys cannot actually find a way to uh, agree on this matter. So there's only one thing left for us to do and that is ask you guys, what do you think? Go to our poll and um, then you can vote whether you would like to see this dragon roam the halls of the TCG again or if you would like him to stay in prison forever. Guys, guys, don't, don't, don't let me hang there. Uh, don't, don't misplay. No five, think about it. I hate to break it to you guys, but if you vote for his stuff, you're a jerk. Like, no, it's just no, not no, even. No. It's just, just not realistic. Funny. You're just realistic. Man. We're not judging you, but we want you to be the judge next time. If you like this format, please like and subscribe. That would really mean a lot to us because it means that we can do more of these fun interactions and discussions in the near future. And that would be really, really nice. And without further ado, I'd say see you at the next Bellhammer. Bye. Bye.